Before we start using Google Docs, it's probably a good idea to get an overview. What's Google Docs all about? In other words, let's see the bigger picture because in reality, Google Docs is a small piece of a larger puzzle known as Google Apps. There you'll see Google Docs alongside other applications like Gmail, for example, an email application based on Google's popular Gmail platform. So if you decide you're going to go with a Google Apps account, not just a Google Docs account, you get Gmail and, here's the neat thing, you can use your own organization's domain. So your email address can still be something like drivers at lynda.com, even though you're using Gmail. There's Google Calendar, a calendar and scheduling application that allows you to collaborate with others quite easily as well. Google Sites for creating an actual site for your organization, easy for sharing and collaborating. There's the Start page where you can customize your own home page. And of course, one of the things you might want to do is create a gadget on that home page that takes you directly to Google Docs. And there's Google Talk as well. That's instant messaging. It's available directly from within Gmail and your spreadsheet application as well. Or you can use it as a standalone software application. Thing about Google Talk is it also allows you to do things like voice calls, voicemail, and even file sharing. Let's zero in though on Google Docs for a second because it's made up of three of its own applications. One for word processing, sometimes called Docs. We've also got spreadsheets a spreadsheet application for working with numbers, and if you need to create cool presentations, whether they're for a local event or via the web, there's a presentations application in there as well. We'll be looking at all three of those as we move through the lessons in this title. Now I want to talk to you about collaboration for a second because that is the biggest advantage to using Google Docs. Collaboration these days, what I like to call old school, is done kind of like this. You create your document, whether it's a spreadsheet, a word processing document, or a presentation. If you need input or feedback from others, typically what you do is send out an email with an attachment. The attachment is your document. So in this scenario, we want input or feedback from three other people. We send out three copies of our document. Now here's the tricky part. When it's time to receive that feedback, we get another email back, and now all of a sudden, we've got four copies instead of one copy of our document, and it's up to you to take all of those changes and revisions and feedback and so on and put them together into one final version. Sometimes using some cool features built into the application that allow you to track changes and accept them or reject them, that helps, but you're still working with copies, and you've also got copies out there on those other machines as well. Don't forget about that. Well, with Google Docs, well, there's no more old school. It's new school now. This is kind of cool. You create your document once. It resides on a centrally located server out there in the internet somewhere. It's a secure server. And when you want input or feedback from others, you send out an email, but not with an attachment, with a link, a link to your specific document. People click the link right in their email message. It gives them access to the document. And in fact, everyone can be working on the document at the same time. It's still a single document. And Google Docs is really good at saving all of the changes from everybody in that one document. You end up with revisions. You can look at who did what and when. It's really cool stuff, as you will see moving ahead in this title. So let's talk about those advantages for a second. Biggest thing about Google Docs is well, it's free. If you just sign up for Google Docs all on its own, it's free. If you decide you want a Google Apps account to use some of those other applications in the suite, Google Docs is free. And there are free editions as well that we'll talk about in a moment. The neat thing is, is there's no software on your computer, nothing to install or upgrade or purchase. It's all free. And you can access it because it's out there on the internet from any connected device. That means a computer connected to the internet, as well as PDAs, even cell phones, if they're connected, you can access your documents. As I mentioned earlier, lots of people can be working on the same document at the same time. Changes are automatically saved, and you just look at the revision history to see when it was updated and by whom and what was changed. There's no need for your own servers as well. If you need to collaborate, typically you might go out and buy some hardware called a server, install some software that allows people to access the contents on that server. It's expensive. It requires maintenance and upgrades. You don't have to do any of that using Google Docs. 
So what do you need to actually use Google Docs? Not much. You need an internet connection and a browser. If you're on a Windows PC, typically your browser will be Internet Explorer. Works fine with most browsers, including Internet Explorer. I'm on a Mac for this title. I'll be using Safari. Works just as well with Safari. Of course, you also need your Google account, whether it's Google Apps or just Google Docs. It really doesn't matter. As long as you've got your account, you'll have access to Google Docs. So let's just talk about what happens when you open up your browser and you do a search for Google Docs or Google Apps. You arrive at the page where you can either log in or create a new account. I'm just going to switch over to my browser here for a second. And you can see up here in the top right corner, I've typed in Google Apps in the search field. And it took me to the results where I clicked on Welcome to Google Apps. And this is the home page. Now from here, I can actually create my new account or I can sign in if I'm a returning user. Returning users, click this link. If you want to compare editions and sign up for an account, you can click this button. And that's what I'm going to do right now. This is Google Apps. Remember, Google Docs is included with Google Apps. And down below, you can see we've got some additions here. The standard edition as well as the education edition, ideal for collaborating in an education environment such as a school. These are free. And down below, you can see what you get and what you don't with these free editions. Now there is a premier edition, so if you're a very large corporation, for example, who've decided to switch over to Google Docs, you'll pay 50 bucks per user account per year. That's peanuts when you consider what it might cost you to buy all the servers, the software, the PCs running the software, the upgrades, etc. This is a really good deal. And look what you get down below. For example, email storage. Well, everybody gets some email storage. It's only about 2.8 gigabytes for the free ones, but 25 gigabyte per account when you go with the Premier Edition. Now, free means that really that you don't have to put out any money. But down below, you can see that the free edition also means that you might see some text-based ads alongside email. That's standard with the Standard Edition. It's optional for students and full-time nonprofit staff with the Education Edition. You can see it's totally optional with the Premier Edition. And down below, there's lots of other options to browse through. We won't go through all of these, but when you get into the Premier Edition, you get into policy management, APIs like single sign on and cool things like that. You can see that IMAP for Gmail, something that's brand new, check marks across the board, email routing controls for dual delivery, that's available on the Premier and the Education. Lots of cool things for you to explore as you make your decision with what edition you're going to sign up. Now, you don't have to go through Google Apps. I'm going to come up here and change Google Apps to Docs. And when I hit Return, there's the results here in Google, right at the top, Welcome to Google Docs. You also notice that the address is docs.google.com. So you could go directly to that address if you wanted to. And here's the Google Docs homepage here where you can sign in with your email and your password if you've already created your account. If not, you can come down here to get started. You just follow the prompts and fill out the information. I'm going to flip back here to my presentation where we talked about what you need. And if you decide that it's time for you to sign up for an account using Google Docs, you go down to the Get Started button. And that takes you to a screen here where you type in your own email address. You choose a password for yourself. Google Docs will also tell you if it's a strong or a weak password. You re-enter that, move down the page, choose your location, type in your word verification to verify that this is legitimate, accept the terms of service, and when you do that, you will have your account. So before we continue, obviously you'll need to do all of that if you don't already have your Google account. If you do, excellent. It's ready and it's time for us to move on to Google Docs.